Hey there everyone, so OpenAI has released yet another model. The name of this model is GPT-5 Codex. I know I'm pretty late. The reason is, you know, I'm actually out of station. I'm in a village and the internet connection over here is terrible. But anyways, since we are here, we'll be looking at everything. So first we'll be looking at what GPT-5 Codex is, the improvements from this model and we'll be directly comparing it against Cloud 4.1 Opus. In this video, we'll be looking at the raw performance of the model and in the next video, we'll be looking at agentic performance. So currently this new model is available in Codex Cloud, Codex CLI and the IDE extension and the API release of the model has not happened yet but we'll be testing it through a workaround that I'll be explaining you after some time. Now let's look at some benchmarks. You can see CV Bench verified and you know in 500 tries when you compare GPT-5 high and GPT-5 Codex high around 2% improvement in CV Bench. You know the improvement is not that great but the benchmark is also nearing saturation. On the other hand if you look at code refactoring tasks you know debugging issues and fixing them we do see see a substantial improvement compared to GPT-5 high. OpenAI also have actually mentioned what kind of code refactoring task and what scale they are talking about. You can see they are saying that one of the example tasks included a pull request with changes in nearly 232 files and 3545 lines of code. So this should be comparatively better than GPT-5 high in large code bases. One of the biggest features that many people are actually talking about GPT-5 codex is, you know, the amount of time it spends in thinking. It is more dynamic now which means that codex will feel snappier on small tasks you know if you are asking a very small thing maybe like starting up the code base or making very easy edits then it's not going to take much time or you're chatting with it but on longer and complex tasks it can take multiple hours during testing the OpenAI team saw that the model actually worked for seven hours at a time for a large complex task that they gave so it means that it will take longer than gpt5 high for hard tasks and less time than gpt5 high for easy tasks and that's a good thing if you look at important code changes you can see in incorrect comments we do see a substantial improvement which means that the model doesn't go here and there and it makes important edits instead of making unnecessary edits in high impact comments you can see again we see an improvement we also see improvement in comments per pr in average not only agentic coding but in front-end tasks and aesthetic designs, it seems that this model is actually better than GPT-5 high. So I hope this gives a good idea about what GPT-5 Codex is all about. So without further ado, let's get into the comparison. So you can see I've actually opened up LM Arena and VS Code. So many of you guys have actually said me that, you know, testing it using API is actually very pricey and why not use LM Arena? So today we'll be doing just that. We'll be using Opus 4.1 in LM Arena. And since GPT-5 Codex is only available in Codex CLI or the Codex ID extension. Today we'll be using the ID extension and I'll be using it in chat mode. So we'll be using GPT-5 Codex. You can see I've set GPT-5 Codex into high settings and I've also selected Opus 4.1. The thinking is 16k tokens but I think it's quite okay because Opus 4.1 doesn't think much when it comes to coding. So that's not gonna be a problem. So without further ado, let's get into the testing. So first up, we are asking, can you draw an elephant in a web page using HTML, CSS and JS? Show side view of the elephant and give me your best implementation in one single code. Okay everyone, we have the responses and just have a look at it. See, this is what happens when you compare state of the art the best of the best you know the, the competition is fierce and interesting both have generated i think a good response the one towards my left is from gpt5 we do see the legs the ears and other body parts it also has a trunk i guess as you can see gpt5 models have come so far when it comes to front-end aesthetics but i'll have to say it still there is no competition to opus 4.1 just have a look at it. I mean, it is a clear elephant, exactly how we want it. We are not going to have a second chance. The reason is the difference is very drastic and it's easy to predict who is the winner. So this is a win for Opus 4.1. Let's move on to the next question. By the way, guys, you can see I'm using the model GPT-5 codex in chat mode. So it's not able to, you know, iterate over its question or anything like that. It is giving me one single code in one instance, just how we would get it when we would use it in api or in chat interface let's move to the next question the next question is build the absolute best implementation of a super mario game in a web page without using any external assets and in one single code let's send this and let's see what they come up with so now you can see one of the drastic difference with the new codex model is it actually takes some time to you know give you a 
response on the other hand cloud opus 4.1 you can see it barely thinks and gives you a response on the other hand codec seems to be taking time and that's the point which was mentioned in the blog post as well on difficult task it will take much time and i've also tried simple prompts like saying a hi or just chatting in those kind of scenarios the model seems to be faster than gpt5 high remember guys i've said i've set this model in the high setting but still it takes less time for you know just casual Talk. this is something that is nice to see but let's wait for the response okay everyone we have got the responses so let's look at opus first so i'm hitting space it says press page to start i'm trying to hit that but nothing is happening so we'll have to do a second iteration on opus but meanwhile let's actually look at gpt5 for a second so let's try it out you can see i'm trying to move but the mario just falls on the ground and vanishes and it says game over okay okay now it is working now it is working guys so you can see i'm able to move and stuff it is maybe slightly working but uh, when i'm staying on the ground it just says game over so we'll have to fix that let's come up with the second iteration okay everyone we've got the responses so let's start off with opus so this is what you can see you can see i'm able to jump and stuff you can see i'm able to move let's move ahead and we have the flag and if i cross it it says level complete that is a working response okay so let's move on to gpt5 let me hit enter to start and now you can see i'm able to move i think guys this version actually looks more closer to the original mario game you have the power up and increase in size although the jumping height is kind of a uh, very high shouldn't have been that much but i'm liking the aesthetics guys i have to say that let's go ahead and see what happens okay i think we have the flag and if i cross it you can see it says course clear so i think guys it's a very close call but i'll have to go with gpt5 code xi because it looks like the original mario game it was a very hard decision but i think i'll go with gpt5 code x let's move on to the next question so next up we are asking create a 3d flight simulator game in 3.js have chase camera view correctly oriented plane and highly detailed environment give your best implementation and one single code okay we have the responses so let's actually look at at opus first so we'll move on to full screen and this is what we see you can see we have a very good environment so you can have a look what else can we say it looks absolutely stunning just have a look at it you know absolutely insane so let's keep this aside and look at gpt5 codex so it is giving me a black screen guys so what can i say the distinction couldn't have been much clearer it's very clear that opus is a winner but i actually want to give codex a chance will not consider its point but will just say that you know i just see a blank screen maybe it will come up with something good okay everyone we have got the response from gpt5 codex let me show you this way you can see now we are able to be able to actually look at what it has come up with and i'm actually kind of liking it i think this is the first time you know a model other than opus has come up with something like this but i think the controls are kind of messed up i don't know how i am flying but uh, yeah it is able to get it done but anyways the response from opus was a bit better and it was able to do it in less tries so it is a win for opus let's move on to the next question so next up we are asking create a trading view like dashboard with a mock tick by tick updating chart it has candlestick chart and various other types of charts and different time frames indicators tools and everything that is expected from such a dashboard give me a best implementation and one single code okay everyone we have got the responses so let's start off with opus 4.1 this is what we see you can see this is a candlestick chart but the candles are very thin if i'm if i try to zoom you can see that it is actually updating but uh, you know the candles in itself are very thin and kind of here and there we can add indicators so this is the smooth moving average indicator we can add exponential moving average we can add bollinger bands and that also looks good we, we do also have an option for line chart maybe i'll do one thing i'll load it again okay now you can see that the chart actually looks a bit better you can see that you know it is actually tick by tick updating but uh, it seems like it is all over the place i don't think it is wrong but because a less liquid stock might have something like this but this is btc usdt so it should not happen like that i'm trying to change the time frames but the chart is actually not changing at all i'm not able to view the bar chart but all in all it is good guys many models actually are not even able to you know do this let's keep this aside and let's move on to gpt5 codex so this is what gpt5 codex has generated it does look like a real chart though although it is 
too noisy we can change the time frames and you can see when i when we change the time frames the chart actually changes okay i'm able to scroll the chart as well which is actually very nice you can see the chart is updating tick by tick exactly how we want we are able to see the price as well we can change the chart type this is hikinashi candles and you can see we have hikinashi candle we have line chart as well we have an area chart as well we can have two moving averages we can get rid of the volume rsi is present right at the bottom because rsi is something that i have not seen with uh, you know opus previously opus was able to give a good response but never it was able to render rsi we can add the price line so you can see an alert has been added so all in all i think it is a very good response guys again i think this has to be a win for gpt5 codex let's move on to the next question so next up we are moving on to some python based problem here is a hollow circle question there is an hollow circle and there are two balls inside it and whenever a ball exits two new balls appear so this has to be coded in python let's see how they do okay everyone we have got the responses so let's start off with opus 4.1 let's paste the code and let's run it okay we do have a hollow circle and two balls and they are bouncing let's see what happens when a ball exits a ball exiting and two new balls appearing exactly how we wanted you can also see it's kind that it has kind of an earthquake like effect which i actually like it feels more lively so absolutely awesome performance from opus let's look at gpt5 let's copy the code and paste that and let's run it okay so this is what we have you can see it is not clearly defined what is happening i do think the opening is mentioned right over here but it's actually not functional so the response is kind of okay but uh, it's not what we asked for so i think we don't need a second chance because it's a clear win for opus 4 point let's move on to the next question next up we are asking write a python program that simulates earth's rotation so let's see what they come up with okay everyone we have got the responses let's start off with opus let's paste the code and let's run it okay that didn't run that was a fail you can see the error is right in the console so nothing much to say let's try gpt5 codex we'll paste the code and we'll run it okay we do see a persistent window it's not closing at least and it's loading i hope that something shows up okay just have a look at it guys it looks awesome we have clouds you can actually look at land masses we also have the moon as well guys this is the best implementation that i've ever seen the best implementation that i've ever seen nothing comes close i mean gemini has come up with good responses but this is on an another level it looks absolutely insane just look at the land masses the ocean the clouds the moon absolutely insane guys so it's a clear win for gpt5 let's move on to the next question now let's ask them to create state of the art pac-man game in python let's see what they do okay everyone we have got the responses let's start off with opus so immediately we don't see any kind of errors let's run this hit space to start and okay the ghosts are kind of moving but i am not able to move the pac-man so i think we'll have to work on the response from opus having said that let's try gpt5 codex let's paste the code and let's run it okay that didn't run that was a fail so i'll come up with the second iteration and let's see what happens okay everyone we have got the updated responses so let's start off with opus 4.1 we'll paste the code and let's run it this time it should hopefully work because previously as well it was working so now you can see we are able to move let's see what happens when we eat a power pellet so you can see the ghost kind of change but it doesn't happen to all ghosts the pac-man mouth is not opening correctly that is something to be looking after let's try to actually finish the game if possible so it's nice the board actually resets if we complete the game so all in all it is a working response let's look at gpt5 codex we'll paste the code and let's run it okay so this is what we see again you can see the mouth is not implemented correctly it is a working response but i think comparatively claude came up with a better response in my opinion i mean you have to understand and i'm actually nitpicking because both are giving us awesome responses so i'll give this win to opus 4.1 but you can have your opinion as well there's nothing wrong in it let's move on to the final question okay so this is the question guys create a music equalizer in python that i can run locally i can add a song and play when i play i get an awesome looking equalizer one that is captivating and clearly shows various aspects of the music give me the best implementation in one single code so let's send this and let's see what they come up with okay everyone we have got the response let's start off with opus 4.1 we'll paste the code and let's run it i'll enable the audio so that you guys can hear it so this is the music equalizer let's click load okay if i click load it is not working we are having some errors let's keep it aside let's look at gpt5 codex response we'll paste the code and let's run it okay we have the music so you can see it is working unlike opus 4.1 it is nice to see that
we can pause the music we can resume it we can restart it but the voice is kind of clipping so we'll come up with the second iteration let's actually try that we'll give chance to both them both of them okay everyone we have got the updated response so let's start off with opus we'll paste the code and let's run it okay this time we have a browse button and let's see i hope it works okay all music files that are present in my laptop are shown up that is absolutely insane so let's hit play I'm not sure if it's actually following the music. Now we are going to see a beat. I hope it changes something. I did like the browse option, but uh, it's not that reactive to the music. Having said that, let's look at GPT-5 codex. We'll copy the code, we'll paste it and let's run it. Okay, we'll have to select the music. Okay, we are, I have selected the music. Okay, now nothing actually showed up. It was working in its previous response, but it's not working now. So I think I'll give this a fail to both of them. Now let's actually look at the scores. If we talk about front-end questions, we actually did four front-end questions and out of Opus got two of them better than gpt5 codex so it's a 2 out of 4 for opus 4.1 same stands true for gpt5 codex as well it got a 2 out of 4 that is insane when it comes to backend coding we did test four questions and out of four questions in two of them actually opus 4.1 was better and in only one of them gpt5 codex was better i mean in the last question if we consider gpt5 codex response then we can say that it's kind of equal but it was a head-to-head -head competition guys it's very hard to say which one is better but you couldn't go wrong with both of these models so so it's clearly now comes down to the pricing we don't know the api pricing of this model but it's bundled with your chat gpt plus subscription which i think opus is not available you know when you take the normal cloud subscription and don't take the hundred dollars plan so with price point in mind i would say that gpt5 codex is better and you know the agentic coding performance is something that to look after so we have already done the testing between gpt5 and opus and gpt5 was better in agentic tasks so all in all i think gpt5 codex is a better model for coding and debugging but you couldn't go wrong with any of these you know and other than agentic coding if you talk about the raw performance both are very close and neck to neck with each other i hope this video was helpful and would add some value to you if you enjoyed the content please do hit the like button and hype the video that's really important so that more and more people are able to watch this with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next one